honestly though i think a, even though we have our own opinions on this i think the person that probably has the best opinion on this the would be ball. kevin kevin samuels himself there you i go, think it, i think he would be the more interesting opinion i'll say at least at the minimum but of course people are creating petitions to get him out of here at this point so I'm not surprised at that. If you think about it, you see what Kevin Samuel stand for. And listeners, I'm just going to let you know, <laughs> I agree with a lot of the things Kevin Samuel says. I'm not I saying that. heal yourself. No, no. Man, fuck it. I re- remember who was the original bad guy before. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, he, hear me out, though. Okay. So me and Nigel, we have sat down and watch some Kevin Samuels videos, not so much to fanboy over the nigga, but to be like, okay, let's see what this nigga is actually talking about. And let's see what he, what he's, you know, really saying. Now, as I agree with, with the shit, he's majority of the shit he's saying, the guy does have a flawed logic. The guy has said things that are wrong. Right. So this guy is not a hundred percent correct in everything he's saying. And, this is coming from a man who likes Kevin Samuels. You know what I mean? Like I like the, his videos. I think they're entertaining, but you know, I'm not surprised that this guy is going to get a petition to have it removed from social media, YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. I look at it. It's just like his target audience are, is not the, the, the victim audience, I should say. And I'm not saying that these women are victims of their situations or scenarios, but like majority of his videos, if you watch Kevin Samuels, the women that he's talking about, they're kind of like, hey, they're the targets of his discussion, not targets in a sense of like, he's trying to uh, uplift them and promote them to be better what they are, but like, hey, this is the problem with a lot of men in these relationships. Now he does go go hard on men too, but that's never glorified or presented because there's always the shit with the women that they that they love to show and portray and make memes and short videos out of. So I just think that I'm not surprised about it. I want to be surprised of any of the women that I know. A shout out to all the women that I know. You are the first ones to sign this petition. I'm not. I'm actually. I'm not even surprised if some guy signed this petition, because you do have some simps and you do have some herbs. And shouts out to the simps and herbs because <laughs> there's a community for you guys. Yeah, the world needs the simps and herbs, man. They yeah, they, they do. do exist. They do exactly. So I'm not surprised by this. Shouts out to the women, and shouts out to the simps and herbs. I mean. <clears throat> I'll say this, right? I just think that we all have the right to have a, any type of open forum that we choose to have, right? And I think the only way I, the only the only way I would justify a petition of an open forum through the through a live stream on somebody's particular channel that people sign up for to actually involve themselves with is if it was involuntary. This is all voluntary. Every person that calls into that show. That's true. They make their own choice. He even sets up rules for people. Hey, if you want to be on my show, you need to be on your webcam or you need to be doing this and nothing that's like salacious. Just like, yo, I need you to, if you're going to be on my show, these are the guidelines of my show. The same way we look at Jerry Springer at one point, right? Where Jerry Springer at the end of the day, and there's actually I watched the um, there's actually a good series called the dark uh the dark side of the '90s that actually talk about Jerry Springer, the Jerry Springer show at the time. Very interesting. Dark side of the '90s, that interesting. Now it reminds me of Dark Side of the Ring. Yeah, actually, it comes from the same people that made Dark Side of the Ring. You have to send me a link to that because I I will be fascinated by that. Yeah, I got you. I think it was on YouTube by Vice. I'll send it to you. But um, yeah, it's like it's no different than that. Like they were debunking the theory that like when we used to watch Jerry Springer that we thought people were signing up or they were paying they were paid actors. The same way with Kevin Samuels. These 
The same people that were on Oh, Jerry, they're, they're not paid actors? On Jerry Springer, no. They were actually real live people. Wow. Yeah. You taught me something new. I thought it was yeah. some like hokey shit. Yeah, it, they act, you kind of find out how this all was real after like um because you actually get to talk to like the director. So they're interviewing like the director of that show, Ricky Lake, Jenny Craig, or not Jenny Jones, so on and so forth, right? But like back to Kevin Samuels, the thing is very similar to that. These are people that choose to get on his show, right? So I don't think if someone's my thing is this if people come to a place for advice and they are happy getting the advice, you kind of just got to let it be. It definitely, they feel as though it makes them a better person. And there's like tangible results of them feeling like they become a better person. Cause I, cause it's easy to mix that up with, um, the Fabius of the world. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah, that fucking guy. Yeah, exactly. Like, and if you want to know more, just check out our episode called Fabia Awards where we talk more about it. But yeah, like, unless it's like the Fabias of the world, if it's someone that's literally just like, hey, I'm coming here to this open forum to get advice on something from a male's perspective, or even if it were a woman's perspective, someone like Ayana Von Zant, like, that person signs up for it. I don't think you should try to push somebody offline. And I'll be honest with you. The same way we talked about the well, that rapper that wants that rainbow haired rapper, right? Okay. The same way we realize like the best way for a person to go away is to ignore them. The same people that want to petition Kevin Samuels are the same people that watch his show. The same people that actually fuel his the attention that he hits. He has over a million subscribers on YouTube now. Yeah. You know, are you well were you gonna say well, anything else no that was it okay so it, my thing is like this right if you don't like what kevin samuels has to say don't watch him and if you don't want him to talk to you any type of way don't call him and it's that simple and if there are that many people out there that believe that he sounds a certain way then it's like hey he'll go away in no time you know what i mean we don't have to worry about him being around forever if you know, if nobody really believes in what he's saying, then he'll just eventually disappear. That being said, I watch his stuff and I know a decent bit of people who watch his stuff. So I'm not necessarily mad at him for doing what he's doing. Now, does he go a little hard sometimes? Yeah, he does. Do I agree with everything he says? No, I don't. But I don't agree with 100% of what anybody says. And I think if you are a person with a good head on your shoulders, you'll realize, hey, you know, I can take something from this, but I don't have to necessarily be on Kevin's side 100%, like you're his crony or some shit like that. Like, it's not really that serious. You know what I mean? Turn YouTube yeah. off. It's easy. It is It is simple. Just yeah. press exit. Exit the app. Close it. It's fine. You know what I mean? Like, I, I promise it won't hurt you. You know what I mean? That being said, though, 